Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm gonna teach you something about uh, subroutines, how to uh, link different subroutines to each other, how to make them to transfer data. And uh, for example, in this uh, very specific subroutine, I have a UMAT which is uh, gonna simulate less classic deformation for me. And I'm gonna have have it link with a freak subroutine for friction. Uh, I'm using this freak subroutine because point is in abacus, as you know, uh, if you go over here in interaction a module and in the property, as you see, for tangential behavior, if you put it for as penalty, then you just can have one uh, one ultimate elastic strain or shear uh, yield strains for entire contact surface. So if I want to have it uh, as a function of yield strains, for example, at different points, I want to have different shear, different uh, ultimate uh, shear stress, uh, I cannot use this option. So, and point is why, the reason that I have decided to work on this one for you is because if you know, in Freak, we have uh, a node over here, which means the data are gonna be uh, defined in at uh, contact nodes over the slave surface. But uh, in UMAT, in UMAT, we have again this uh, node over here, uh, and we uh, we have an OEL here, which means that the data are given for uh, elements or integration points. So uh, not only I'm going to teach you how to uh, make the subroutines to transfer data between each other, but I'm going to show you as an example how to link UMAT and FREAK, uh, uh, or in other words, how to get the data from integration points and transfer them to another subroutine, which is FREAK subroutine, and interpret those data as data for nodes. This is a FREAK, uh, freak uh, subroutine. So at first, let me uh, walk you through the model that we're gonna work on. I have, this is the uh, axis symmetric model, and this is a quarter of the geometry, and this is one part, and this is another part. And there is a contact, uh, there is a contact between them. If I go to this contact module, we will see this uh, contact surface. So this will be a slave, uh, the surface from this part will be a slave, and the surface from this part will be the master. And I have it meshed uh, something like this. So as you see, this slave is meshed with a more refined element. And so I have defined this contact, and for contact properties, I have uh, decided I have uh, I have it to use uh, user defined, which will be the freak and subroutine that we're going to use with, and I have this uh, friction property, which will give me the uh, friction coefficient equal to point 0.1. Uh, okay, let's get started with going through the uh, subroutine. I'm not gonna walk you through, I'm not gonna talk about the uh, subroutines, not UMAT and not FREAK. I'm just gonna uh, tell you how to link them and how to uh, transfer data between them. Uh, there are so many different ways uh, that you can use to transfer data between different subroutines. For example, one of them is just something like this. You are in one of the uh, subroutines, for example, you are in UMAT, and you want to use another subroutine. And uh, for example, here, I have defined a subroutine, which is KMLT. And just for your information, this is something that will multiply this tensor and this tensor and will give me this uh, tensor as a result. So I will use uh, this call function to call this uh, subroutine within another subroutine and this will be the data uh, that I will put 
uh, I will give to this subroutine as input, and this will be the output of this subroutine. So over here, up to this point, I will define these two tensors, and when I put them here, uh, they will be inputted to this uh, subroutine, and the result of this call will be a few u. So before coming to this point, I know this two part, and after this line, after this uh, KMLT being called, I know FUU. But what is this KMLT? Uh, let me split the window to have them both at the same time over here. And let me find this uh, subroutine. I think it should be down here. It's a pretty long subroutine, and okay, this is a subroutine that I have it here. Uh, okay, point is, if you want to use a subroutine uh, in middle of another subroutine, the main subroutine, which will be this one will be placed upper than this one. So for example, you see this is uh, in nine, 94, line 94, which is in the middle of the main subroutine, or UMAP uh, subroutine, and this is the uh, subroutine that it is called over there, and it is in line 1300, which means that it is after this main subroutine. So for example here, if I have another subroutine, just let me show you another subroutine. For example, I have another subroutine here, and this subroutine, uh, because it is in the middle of the UMAT one, it should be placed after UMAT subroutine. Okay, so we are talking about this uh, subroutine KMLT. As I just said, these two are inputs, and this is output. So if you go over here, uh, I have this uh, original general name, DM1, DM2, and DM. So DM, when you call this one, this very first uh, term will be assigned to this one, DM Y, and this one, X stress, will be assigned to DM2. And the DM, which will be determined here, as you see over here, DM is output of this, or resultant of this calculation and DM will be calculated and will be put over here. And because it is related to, for example, in this one, it is related to FSTR1. After this uh, subroutine be called, I will have this one as input, this one as input, and I will out have this one as output. This is <clears throat> one of the simplest way that you can link different subroutines to each other. For example, if I needed something else over here, I just could add any other terms here and have it uh, what I want to uh, have input anything that I wanted to this KMLT subroutine over here. The other way that you can uh, link subroutines to each other is using uh, a program. Uh, okay, the second way that you can link different subroutines with each other is, as I said, is using functions or programs or subprograms or external, you can call them whatever you wish. So for example, I'm here in the middle of a subroutine, for example, this is the main subroutine that I'm working with, and here I'm going to use a, a program that will determine something for me, and this program is called uh, GSLP0. And when you are going to call or use a function in the middle of something, some other subroutine, you need to uh, give it uh, some uh, specific, some identification. So it is external, and uh, which means that I'm going to use this uh, subprogram or function. And what this function does is, if you go over here, this is the function that I'm going to use as, as, as we see this placed after this main one. This uh, function gives these numbers as input and gives one single number as output. 
So for example, uh, for example, here GSLP is called in this uh, subroutine as something like this. So which means that I will have this one, these numbers as input and from all these inputs, it will calculate something and it will give it to me as this number. So uh, for example, I have uh, different numbers for each of one, one of these and the result, uh, there will be some calculation between them or anything. And the result of this calculation between these uh, inputs will be a number or a component which will be called over here and you can place it in any format and in matrices or any arrows arrays that you want so as you see the main difference here between the function and calling the subroutine you see over here i have an entire uh, matrix form out of this uh, subroutine being called but over here i just have a number then I need to put it into matrix matrices or different formats that I want to use. Uh, but this one is uh, sometimes more convenient to use compared to this one. It is up to you in different situations. You need to decide what, what you want to do. Uh, this is the, the second, it was the second way to link different subroutines to each other. But the very last one that I want to talk about this time, there are so many other ways uh, that I want to talk about is using modules. Modules is um, uh, somehow an advanced or much easier or better and uh, with better performance can, compared to common, file, common blocks. Uh, so in a uh, few years back, for linking subroutines to each other, uh, we used to use common files, common blocks. Uh, but recently, uh, we have decided, we have to, we have come to this conclusion that common blocks are not well enough, and uh, uh, sometimes just using them causes some divergence or a problem in you know, reaching a convergence. And sometimes the, the data are, are getting somehow messed up. Uh, but modules, I've never had any problem with modules. They are very easy to use and uh, they are always accurate. And I've never had any problem with uh, this one in terms of having uh, a slow conversion rate. So here, at first, let me walk you through how I'm gonna link uh, UMAT and Freak, or in other words, how I'm gonna get the data from integration points uh, and li link them, relate them to uh, nodal points. Then uh, when I am done with that, I will uh, go through this uh, part, how to use module. Uh, 